My grandfather had a butcher shop. He owned it with my great-grandfather. My great-great-grandfather was a butcher before that. One thing that we ate a lot of was like old mutton. And my grandpa learned a trick in the army. So gross. You braise it in ginger ale to make the smell go away. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of meat things that I don't like to eat, but this is definitely not one of them. Matzo ball soup, it is manna from heaven. I'm Cara Nicoletti. I am in the Munchies Test Kitchen and today I'm making matzo ball soup. I love matzo ball soup. It's my number one comfort food. Grew up eating it, grew up making it, can't get enough of it. Matzo ball soup is obviously a Jewish delicacy. It is a very simple chicken soup with a little dumpling made out of matzo crackers. First thing first, I'm gonna peel the carrots. because The skin can be a little bit bitter, so you wanna get it off. I cut the onions just in half, um, same with the garlic. I'm not gonna peel them. The skins actually add uh, a really nice color and depth of flavor to the broth. Just a little bit of olive oil. So now I'm gonna break the chicken down. I like to cut it right here in between the thigh. It just kind of separates. Then we're gonna stand it up and just cut right on either side of this backbone. You wanna make sure you save the backbone because it has a lot of good flavor in it. When you roast it, and put it into the stock. So now the chicken's kind of open. You're just gonna go right here, cut it down the middle. We are going to use the skin to get some schmaltz out, which is just chicken fat, and we use that to make the matzo balls. Pull the skin off with your hands. If you wanna do this with the gloves, feel free. I'm just gonna wash my hands very thoroughly. So I've got my pan of vegetables that I'm gonna roast here, and I have my broken down chicken, and then I have my pan of chicken skins for rendering out. These are gonna go into the oven at 425 for like 20 minutes. The chicken skin rendered down for about 20 minutes and gave us about three tablespoons of delicious golden schmaltz. We've got half cup of matzo meal here. If you can't find matzo meal, you can just find regular matzo and pulse it in your food processor until it's like a fine cracker powder like this. We've got two eggs, we're gonna beat them up a little bit. This is two tablespoons of seltzer water, which is just the way I was taught. It's supposed to make them lighter and airier. So we're gonna add two tablespoons of this schmaltz, and our eggs, a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, and then you just whisk it all up. And the mixture is gonna be really liquidy when you first get it together, and you're gonna be like, this will never work. So it has to sit in the fridge for like 30 minutes and firm up. Okay, so just pulled all the vegetables and the chicken out of the oven. You can see they got nice and golden brown. Now I'm just gonna throw them in a pot with most of the dill, the celery, and three quarts of water. I'm gonna add some black peppercorns. I'm gonna add the juice of two lemons. I think that the lemon is essential, but it is gonna cloud the broth. So keep that in mind. Okay, so this is at a boil. Now I'm going to cover it with a little crevice and then bring it down to a simmer and let it simmer for like two hours. After an hour and a half, uh, I'm gonna start cooking the matzo balls so that they are done when the broth is done. I made matzo ball soup more with my Jewish mother than my Jewish grandmother, but my grandmother does make a great matzo ball soup. So I do half and half prepared chicken broth and water. I usually buy like a can, a quart of just ready-made stock. These are basically gonna act like little sponges. And if you just cook them in water, they're just gonna have less flavor. I'm gonna bring this up to a simmer while I scoop my balls. So I have one of these scoops you use for cookies. I like it for matzo balls because you want them all to be roughly the same size because you want them to cook at the same rate. So these look really small right now. They do expand a lot while they're cooking. I'm gonna wet my hands a little bit while I'm rolling them um, just because it helps they don't stick. Wait till they're all rolled to put them in. You don't want some cooking before others. This is simmering. I'm gonna drop them in really carefully one by one. And then once they're all in, I'm gonna put the lid on and they're gonna go for 30 minutes. While that's happening, I'm gonna strain the broth, I'm gonna pick the chicken, and I'm gonna cut the carrots. It 
take out the carrots and take out the chicken, and then you're really just gonna discard everything else. I really like this recipe. I really like matzo ball soup in general because I do think it's a really great way to utilize an entire chicken. I picked over all the chicken and I cut the carrots up into coins and I'm just gonna add them back into the broth. The broth is done. The matzo balls are done. So I'm gonna put some carrots and some chicken in. Get two matzo balls, maybe three. And then you just garnish it with some fresh dill and just float it on top. Yeah, and the matzo ball is soaking up the broth. You have little pieces of chicken, you have little sweet carrots and fresh dill. I don't know what else you could want. I love it. I want to eat it forever.